Greetings everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm where I love to be, in the kitchen. Uh, it seems like it's been a while since I've been in front of this camera, only because like I took a week off. I really did not feel like picking up the camera, so I didn't, you know? But now I'm picking up the camera, I'm about to meal prep. I all dolled up, well my dolled up, only because I was doing some TikToks earlier, and I'm like, now let's cook. Now that's like 4, 4.30. Um, yeah, what's up? C-R-Y. Why? Cry? Cry? Like crying? C-R-Y. C-R-Y. Mm -hmm. Sorry y'all, y'all know how it is. Um... Where was I? Hmm. Anyways, I'm meal prepping. And actually, I'm just gonna meal prep. I'm gonna make one meal today. Tomorrow, I will be off again. Oh, my last day off, Lord. Who, Lord knows that I wanna go back. He knows my heart. <laughs> he knows my heart. But I gotta go back, cause I got bills. Y'all pray for me. Um. Anyways, I'm going to finish meal prepping the rest of it tomorrow. So, it's going to be like, today is what, when, oh, y'all. Today's Monday. So, it's going to be Monday and Tuesday meal preps. But, we're here for it. I have my whole list. It's right here on the refrigerator of everything I'm going to eat every day. Um, and Monday, I was supposed to have a salad for lunch. And did that, that did not happen. Uh, I actually got some um, grilled salmon spicy sushi from Kroger because I went grocery shopping today so I ate that for lunch I enjoy it okay let's get into this meal not for talking let's get into this meal so of course y'all know on my phone is where I get my recipes and I have a recipe book that I got off Amazon so I'm gonna start like if I like them drop writing them down in my um recipe book so I don't have to keep coming to my phone and Pinterest and then wash my hands. So let me just show y'all what we're making today. Let's see. There it is. So we're making the hamburger. If you can't see that, it's all right. Whatever. We're making the Weight Watchers hamburger goulash. Does that sound right? So it's low calories. I think it has 350 calories for a cup. Um, yeah, this is my first time making this recipe. Hopefully it's good. It has noodles, right? Elbow macaroni. I am gonna use the veggie noodles because like my daughter can eat regular noodles, right? I could too if I wanted to. But how do we get more vegetables into her? veggie noodles okay 200 calories for three fourths of a cup has carrots tomatoes spinach so hopefully it don't taste too bad this is what i'm using it calls for diced tomatoes tomato soup so it's gonna be real tomatoey onion pepper a pinch of cinnamon Salt and pepper, which I need to refill. Some olive oil and also a pinch of salt or sugar. Oh, a pinch of sugar. I'm not putting the sugar in. I just thought about that. Yeah, we'll get no pinches of sugar. Oh, and the ground beef, but I'm using ground turkey. So yeah. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna get her started and boiling my noodles and then I'll come back once I'm ready to brown my ground turkey. Det var första gången vi möttes Våra blickar bara möttes Kommer du ihåg det igen? Kommer du ihåg igen? Du vill ha ice and little fingers Då du vet det kallas All in inga broms schackmat På din vänster hand Du är så viktig baby Ja du är lia
pour nos nanan Parce que demain un nan Comme va me my baby mm. Allez les tapes pour nos no, 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 nanan really took no time so if this is good I will definitely be making it you know in the future it took no time at all to make this dish like waiting for the pasta to cook okay I was gonna say 10 minutes but maybe 20 um, minutes including like waiting for the pasta to boil so yeah um, I looked up the calories it's, this is a cup and it's 354 calories per cup okay so let's try it This is my, also my favorite. <laughs> what are the words that are like blurring out of my mouth right now? <laughs> this is also my first time trying these veggie noodles. I see what that cinnamon did. That cinnamon gave it like a little, ooh, okay. Like a little hint of cinnamon. Like a little sweet, but not. And I, I don't know if I've ever had hamburger ganache or whatever it's called before, so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the noodles, they just, you can't even tell, like, they don't have that, like, nasty, healthy taste. Like, you can't even tell it's vegetables. Mm-hmm. Probably definitely making this again. So, yeah. That is what I'm having for dinner and my meal prep, part of my meal prep for the week. Let me stop eating. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna, tomorrow's Tuesday, so I'll finish my meal prep for the week. Yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, beautiful beings. Welcome to Tuesday, March 22nd. I'm back in the kitchen. I am about to fix me some lunch. It is about 10.55, but I just finished doing my hair and I was like, I am so hungry. Like my stomach was growling throughout. And to think about it, I did eat much yesterday. So that's why I'm, you know, hungry already. I'm gonna make a new recipe. It is low carb tuna melt zucchini boats is what it's called. Again, it's another Pinterest um, recipe. So I will have all my links links link down below <laughs> i'll have all the links in the description box for the recipes i'm making during this meal prep it looks really good so i'm getting to it we have our zucchini 
I have tuna, we have some onions, some dill, some Greek yogurt, so let's go ahead and get into it. So I have all my vegetables cut up, have my mixing bowl, I'm gonna start adding ingredients. My zucchini is in the oven. So I'm gonna do two packets of my tuna because it says five ounces and each of these are 2.6. Let me get that open. But like I was saying, my zucchini's in the oven. You set the oven to 350 and they say put it in there for 12 to 15 minutes. So. I was just gonna do one packet, but it's really not much tuna in these packets. Hmm. All right, that's my tuna. I don't know why I have this small mixing spoon. <laughs> All right, tuna, it calls for celery, but I did not grab that. At the store, some red onions. And I didn't measure out any of my ingredients except for the Greek yogurt because I didn't feel like it, okay? So, tons of onions for me. A fourth a cup of plain Greek yogurt. Go ahead and dump that in there. Now, it says this whole meal is 84 calories. But I don't know if I believe that. So I'm gonna add some calories onto it when I put it in my fitness pal. Plain yogurt, two tablespoons of chopped dill. So we're gonna go ahead and add that in. And again, I did not measure the dill out either. One tablespoon of Dijon mustard. I am gonna measure this out. I gotta open it first. I thought I didn't have any. I looked in my cabinet, I was like, oh, I must say use that for a recipe. So, one teaspoon. Did I say tablespoon? Teaspoon. Whoop. And a little extra. <laughs> All right. That in there. What else, what else? It says one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. I don't know how fresh it is, but I got some lemon juice. One tablespoon of that. And then one jalapeno, which I'm just using the jalapenos I already had in my um, refrigerator that came in a jar and not a fresh jalapeno. It'll be all right. All right, and it says just mix all of that together. And after I mix this, I'm just waiting for my um, zucchini to be finished, and then I'll add this to my zucchini. So 
So I guess to make it like low carb or low calorie, we added um, the yogurt instead of like mayonnaise to give it like a little creamy feel. Sorry, y'all can't even see that. So yeah, I'm gonna finish mixing this, wait for my zucchini, and then I'll come back. Okay, my zucchinis are out of the oven. I'm gonna pop my mixture into them. And I let them cook a little longer because I really want them tender, my zucchini. And also off camera, I did um, add some salt and pepper to taste for this mixture here, okay, y'all? Because they did say to do that. So I taste a little bit. It didn't, it tasted, what did I taste most? I tasted the lemon a lot. And the onions are so pow in your face. You know, because they're raw and I'm like, oh. So let me just finish scooping the rest of this mixture out. I'm gonna top it with some cheese. So a fourth a cup of cheese. And then we're gonna pop it back in the oven for 10 minutes, okay? So this is the cheese I'm putting over it. Aged Cheddar Blend, thick cut from Kroger's, their private selection. So a fourth of a cup. Let me go ahead and put that in my measuring cup. All right, it's in my cute little measuring cup. I'm just gonna add it to the top. And I'm really just, it's just, I'm gonna place it on here because I don't wanna lose no cheese, okay? And I'm using a thick cut, but you can use whichever cheese you want. Every cheese you like. And I did look at the serving size. She said 84 calories, but that's not for both of the zucchini. That's only half of the zucchini, okay? But again, I'll have it linked in the description box. All right, so back in the oven they go for 10 minutes, okay? I'll show you all the finished product. Hey guys, I'm back. Look what I have. So, I have my um, door open because it's so beautiful out. But, so I have both of them on here because I was taking pictures. But look, 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 look. And I already like got a little bit off from the spoon. So I'm like, this is good. Let me see if I can point y'all down so y'all can see me cut into it. All right, I'm gonna eat this one. Hello, Pierre, it's so tender. Oh my goodness. I don't think I can put all that in my mouth. Plus, it's so hot. Let me get a good scoop here. Everything's falling off. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Mm. That's good. <clears throat> Ooh. Pierre, wait a minute, okay? Sorry, y'all. My dog's lying in the back, but that is so good. That was really good. So this is another like quick, this wasn't as quick as yesterday's recipe, but another good recipe that I can have for lunch. So I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll catch y'all for dinner. All right, y'all, so we're on to the last meal for this video. It is going to be, drum roll please, <laughs> no. It's gonna be the Healthy Spinach Articoat Chicken Casserole. Again, a recipe that's coming from Pinterest. So this is my first time trying out this recipe. It calls for two, ah, y'all. I kid you not, my dog is back at the door crying. 
Okay, and I just picked up the camera. Kid you not. Let me let him out. <laughs> like, if you don't want me to be great, just say that. At this point, if you don't want me to be great, just say that. Okay, so last meal of the day is going to be the healthy chicken artichoke casserole. What I just said, y'all, before I was rudely interrupted by my dog. Uh, healthy spinach artichoke chicken casserole. That is a long, that's long, but that's what we're going to be making. I already cooked my chicken, so... This is my chicken, y'all. I already have it cooked. That was my first time, I think, cooking chicken breasts. So I put both of those two chicken breasts, just flopped them right on the skillet. The outside was cooking, but the inside wasn't. So I'm like trying to cut the chicken up while it's cooking. I feel like there should have been an easier method. I feel like I probably should have cut it before I put it in the skillet. That probably would have been smarter. But anyways, it's here. It's a little dry because I'd be scared that I don't want my meat raw. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I think I just have to add all my ingredients to the bowl now. Now that I have the chicken cooked. And then mix it together. Put it in my casserole dish. Put it in the oven. Get it out. So hopefully another easy, tasty recipe. But we'll find out then. Det var första gången vi möttes Våra blickar bara möttes Kommer du ihåg det igen? Kommer du ihåg igen? Du vill ha ice and little fingers Då du vet det kallas All in inga broms Schackmatt på din vänster hand Du är så viktig baby Ja du är nya to dig in and check out how this casserole is so 
Um, I got it out the oven and I waited since please about 10 minutes and let it cool. But you know, I said I'm gonna dig in now. So, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. It's flat right on my shirt. And so, one thing I did was I used frozen. Wait, this battery about to die too? <laughs> Oh my gosh, let me just take a bite in before this battery die. I thought I charged this one. But I used frozen spinach instead of fresh spinach. So, I don't know if that's gonna make a difference. Mmm. Mmm, okay. That's good too. Oh, so, look at that. I'm gonna add that to my list. Um, I would probably add like onions and peppers next time, but this is what the recipe called for. So, ooh. So, thanks for watching, y'all. I will link the recipes down below. Again, I got all three of these from Pinterest. Hope y'all like this video. Hope y'all are doing great on your weight loss journey if you're on one. Um, and yeah like comment and subscribe for me and i'll see y'all in the next video